go now to our correspondent in Israel. That's Annette Young, who's in Tel Aviv for France 24. Uh, Annette, the uh, received wisdom here in the studio is that it's a victory for the right. However, the polls before the election gave Netanyahu and Likud a big margin of victory. And, of course, that hasn't materialized on the day. So surely they must be asking themselves kind of where it went wrong, in a sense. Uh, I'm sure they certainly are. And you started to see that last night. I was at Liquid Party headquarters. And uh, as the night wore on and we started to get a sense of actually what was happening, particularly a half an hour just before those exit polls were released, there was all sorts of rumours that uh, Kadima had managed to uh, edge ahead of Likud. And just talking to people last night, there are two things that probably came into play. One was that uh, a lot of those voters, a lot of those people who would have voted for Likud, actually ended up voting for Avigdor Lieberman and uh, Israel Batenu party. The other thing, which uh, really is a, a credit perhaps to Kadima more than anyone in this, is uh, in the last week or so, because Likud have been doing so well in the last few weeks in the polls, Kadima basically went out with a fear campaign to a lot of those voters who were still undecided and uh, effectively went out there and told them that a vote for Netanyahu was effectively a vote for the far right. And I, I think even though we're still yet to get the final results and we're still yet to get sort of some sort of breakdown of figures, that certainly did help Kadima uh, and translated through into the performance uh, last night, which means that it is just ahead of Likud. But again, they're just ahead, according to last uh, uh, reports, of, say, 1%, and we've still got a number of votes still yet to be counted. So ahead by one seat, that's the, uh, the score for the Kadima party. In a sense, they must be, I suspect, satisfied that at least they've got their noses ahead. Yes, and I uh, was at the Kadima Party headquarters uh, a week or so ago, and the mood there was, <clears throat> excuse me, very, very sort of, uh, uh, you know, subdued, worried, concerned. There was a lot of frantic uh, meetings going on, sort of uh, strategies being mapped out on how to target those undecided voters, because what we were hearing is up to 30% of people up until yesterday morning had not yet made up their minds, and they were the people that Kadima wanted to target. And uh, I I think this morning they were certainly, uh, and certainly last night, uh, relieved and uh, surprised that they managed to, you know, scrape ahead of Likud. But, you know, it's still not yet clear. And, of course, the next job is, can Zippy Lipney form a coalition government?